Hello guys, I'm Anomalous on Twitch, Vince Dragonborn on YouTube. Also see more magic videos on Magic Gathering Strat on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and follow. You won't make me sad if you don't, but you'll make me happy if you do. We're in the third round of the draft here. Uh, we're playing against Big Mike 868. 868 is Big Mike's size. That's how big he is. Or her. I don't know. Mike could be a Michaelina. Anyways, it's a big mic eight six eight. They are gigantic. They are they are definitely eight hundred and sixty eight magnitudes. They're not here. That's what's happening. That's why I'm filling time. Why is my limited rating still so high? I lose all the time. Possibly our opponent is not here because they, uh, the thing, they got a buy last round. And maybe they disappeared. Do, 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 do. Well, this is boring. board Big Mike where are you come Big Mike let us play Big Mike Big Mike no, no you don't want to see that good thing you can't Hurry up, Big Mike! I have to go make food after this, and that means I that means I still have an hour after this until I have food. All right. Well, I'm gonna read the internet, and I'm probably gonna do another intro when my opponent gets here, because three minutes of silence is no place for a video. Oh, never mind. But two minutes is fine. Big Mike is here. Ugh. Uh, I guess I have to keep this. Well, I don't have to keep it, but I'm going to keep it. Opponent is green, so we lose, apparently. Uh, ooh, nice. Nice. I like this. Sad that Fate Foretold might go on Servant, just because Servant is probably never dying. Oh, are you the black drafter who shouldn't have been black because I didn't pass any black cards? So you just moved into black and pack two? Like a jerk? Faberkin, where were you? Oh, well, that's a good turn for Vaporkin, Fade Foretold. Disciple? Yeah, of course it's Disciple, because you're the black drafter who just started taking black cards in pack two. Anyways, um... I'm probably just going to give Shrike Harpy Island. Just because I don't think I can cast a Shrike Harpy. Ooh, okay. Uh, Well, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to put the Fate Foretold on the Vaporkin just because it's more likely to die because it has less toughness. Ooh, okay. Hopefully this isn't another Disciple of Thlenex. Not really a lot of way to play around that. Great Merchant would be great here. Grave Robber Spider? Okay. Just get that out of my hand. Number of cards in your graveyard. Okay. So it does not, and you can activate it only once. Okay, these are all good things to know. These are all very good things to know. So you can activate it for zero here? Okay. That definitely has Death Touch. All right. Uh...
I'm just gonna bestow there. And I really shouldn't get priority there, Moto. Alright, and then if my opponent has minus four, minus four, it does not die. So I will swing. Because they could have the Lash of the Whip, but it does not kill it. It's okay. So it's okay. Opponent seems a little choked on green mana. I approve. Choked? Yeah, choked. Okay. That is a 4-2. That is definitely a 4-2. Okay, I take four. Ooh. Ooh. This is only when the creature dies, right? And doesn't even work with the Grave Robber Spider? Well, the Grave Robber Spider is getting cursed, so it doesn't matter. Uh huh. I can curse two things if I want, or I can just leave open regeneration mana on the servant, which is what's happening. Lash of the Whip that. Uh, yeah, okay. It gets lashed. That was incorrect. You should have attacked with everything. If you attack with everything there, you get in for three damage. Well, I guess maybe not the Grave Robber Spider, but like, you could have got in for a point. Okay. What do you got for one black mana? A tormented hero? Okay. Hooray, you got in for negative one damage. Uh. Is there anything I want to do here? Because I could grip tide this, get in for six, and curse of swine, get in for lethal. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like the sound of. I like the sound of get in for lethal. And the worst I'm taking is like two, three, seven, or something, and I'm at seventeen. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, I guess it could, I could, it could be murder and mayhem. So it's plus eight. So that's that's fifteen. Okay. Yeah, or whatever it's called, murder and mayhem, or mayhem and mischief. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Okay. Do 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 Technically it was an upgrade, but it gets rid of black devotion. So that's just in case my opponent survives this turn, then Black Devotion. Also, I could have I could have just monstrosity the name of the keepsake Gorgon, but I want to I want to I want to turn stuff to pigs. All right, so my opponent played a Nyxborn, Triton, Grave Robber, Spider, Aqueous Form might not be bad here against this deck. 
Uh, next one, Triton, Sedge Scorpion, Tormented Hero, Vortex Elemental also seems okay. Uh, anything seem bad? What is the aqueous form going on, though? That's a good question. I guess the Triton Forge and under. Um, <laughs> against a green black deck, eh? Yeah, definitely against a green black deck. Uh, Yeah, probably versus that. Even though it doesn't cantrip. Um, yes, I will keep this. My opponent is also kept. I will probably Vaporkin on turn two. We shall see. We shall see. Ooh, okay. We just need to draw land. So maybe we'll just Disciple or Return Falnax. Oh, that makes that decision easy. And we have a Vortex Elemental. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll block. Snap lock, yeah. Oh, feral invocation for the blowouts. Okay, let's hope we draw an island then. That's not an island. Just because it would have been great, because then we could have played the Vortex Elemental and activated it in the same turn. Feral invocation is the worst thing they could, they could have there, but I was not going to not block... There was not going to be any no blocks there. <laughs> this is not going well for me. This would be great here if I would have had an island, because then I could have just turned these into swines. But instead, I'm going to have to... This doesn't target, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to have to block here, shuffle these back in, take another four, hope to draw a land. Well, if I draw a land, I have Keepsake Gorgon, though, so that's not so bad. Opponent should probably just attack with this this turn. I have not liked this Vortex Elemental. Oh, okay. I would just attack with a Leaf Ground Dryad. Tank, 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 tank. Okay. Block. Whee! And they're gone. I'll take four. You have four cards in hand. You probably want to do this after. Damn it, yeah. You have three cards in hand. Eh. Life, don't really care. You're going to have all the life. Deck, deck, deck. You are killing me here, deck. You just... Uh, if 
I take seven, I go to four. Now I think I have to jump block here, or hope to draw a land. Yep. Jump block, hope to draw a land. And then I'll be at six, if my opponent does nothing. Okay. Ah. <sighs> All right, one more turn of Chump Lock Hope to Draw Land. And then I'm dead, officially. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, that didn't work out so well, folks. Um, yeah, no, I think I like that better than um, Aqueous Form. Maybe I like it more than Vortex Elemental. Yeah. We will love to play first. Not touching anything. It's all bugged out. Uh, would we like some mulligan? No. We'll see how this artisan pans out. Probably not well. Can technically enchant your opponent's creatures. Come on, play play something good. Or just kill it. Uh Nah, I'll just play a servant. I will just play a servant. I'm sure my opponent has good creatures in there somewhere. Doing it here because it's just better. And I can't draw a land this turn, so... Might as well leave open a blocker that apparently stopped attacks last turn. Uh, four, three... Yeah, can't do anything about that. Probably one of my blue cards? Probably my fate foretold. That's what I would take, my fate foretold. Archetype is not getting cast anytime soon. It's not even that good. Oh, okay. All right, scry one, draw card. Or deal? Uh, so I can put that on the artisan, make it a disciple, so it swings it's a 2-4? I like that. Uh Oh no, yeah, it's a two four one, two, three. I can make it a servant. And then it's a two four. And then it can't be killed here. I like that. Move auto yields. I don't want to auto yield to that. You block, obviously. Yeah, you block. Because you know it's in my hand, besides one card.
Lash of the Whip. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Do I want that? No, I don't really want that. Can always yield to that one, though. Jeez, deck. Jeez, deck. You're killing me. Oh, uh, that's not even what I want here. Oh, well. It's okay. Because I can go like this then. I can cast this as a creature to attack and protect it from removal by fate foretolding. Cheese deck. Okay, there's the swamp I want. Alright. Alright, we're back in this. Even though our opponent has five cards in hand. Because of Disciple and Lash. Yeah, okay, whatever. You hit me for five. Probably for two again. No? Okay. Uh, land... Archetype. Now, if this is another Grey Merchant, might have a problem. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take four. Okay, you can cycle your card. You got me. Uh-huh. You only have two mana. Can't be that hard of a decision. Uh, put on bottom. Ugh. Where were you before, and all? Uh, so what do I want to do here? Two, three, four. I think I just want to swing for two. Play a Shipwreck Singer. And pass the turn with Regeneration Mana up. Because if it's Lash of the Whip, it's dead anyways. There's no combat based attack. Uh, like, there's no neck snap that I have to regenerate first, I believe. Ugh, just in case. Just in case it's like double something or other, I want to have the regeneration shield up before I block. Uh, yeah, I'll top that. Okay, I'm not sure what that attack was. Do you have, oh, he's got, like, the thing. The uh, rescue from the underworld. I bet you that's what this is. And to play around that, I am going to have to leave open Curse of Swine.
Which I am okay with doing. No, this isn't rescue. Opponent, come on, opponent. You have you have five mana. You can do five mana worth of stuff with it. Oh, you have four mana. I don't know what you're thinking about. Okay, it's a said scorpion. Was that really complicated? You have two cards in hand. Land. Um, what do I want to do here? Is a good question. If I play Shred Carpy, I'm just getting a 2 2. And it's not Rescue anymore. Oh, this doesn't even have Death Touch. Interesting. Interesting. 2, 3, 4, 5. I definitely want to get this in play, though. Definitely want that in play. I think past the turn. Oh, that's why it was hard to think about, because I have Shipwreck Singer in play. I think I'm okay. Baleful Eidolon. Okay, so it's a 3-2 without Death Touch. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't like I, I could have countered it, but I don't care about Baleful Eidolon right here. Uh, oh, I forgot to draw a card though. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Kill that. Okay, so three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could swing with this, and they would have to trade. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just going to swing with the. Uh... And then if. Okay, perfect. My opponent's stable. Okay, whatever. We won the match. Yay! So that was round three. Thanks for joining me. I need to go make some rice and vegetables. And then I'm going to be back playing Lensmore, probably, which most of you are probably not interested in, so you can just ignore it. It's a text-based adventure MMO or whatever. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you all later. Remember, if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, and stuff.